Corinthians 7, 9. But if you can't control yourself, get married. It is better to marry than burn with desire. You know, we're not to follow in this way. And what it's saying is there's, we ha as people have desires. And if we can't control them, it's better for us to allow them desires to be within the proper vessel, which is marriage. Because if it's done within marriage, it's not sin. Okay. Uh, Luke 5, 8 through 11. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. You know, Peter understood his placement, but he also understood Jesus' placement. He referred to him as Lord. Because he put Jesus in a proper place, he knew his place which was beneath him. As Christians, we get got to accept we're sinners to believe he's the Lord. To believe he's the Lord, we got to know we're sinners. It can't be done without both, because the proper perspective isn't given unless it's both. Verse 9, For he was awestruck by the size of their head, and they as were others with him. So he had two boats. We see later how John and James helped him with his. So we see how this catch, it may have been all the fish in the sea, possibly. I wouldn't imagine why not. But either way, it was sinking both boats. It was so many fish. This wasn't just something normal catch miraculous. Verse 10. James and John were the sons of Zebedee and Simon's partner. Were also amazed. Jesus told Simon, don't be afraid. From now on you will be fishing for people. So, because of this, he is called to do this with people. And Jesus is showing him, yes, there's this many fish out there. But if you catch this pe many people for me, it's more of a miraculous work. You know, our job as Christians is to be involved with bringing people to the Lord. Now, we may not be called to evangelize, but we're to called to be a part of that somehow. All the gifts of the Spirit work in bringing people to Him somehow, whether it's growing further Christians or bringing lost to become Christian, or aiding the efforts of either one. Verse 11, so when they had sailed their boat to the land, they left everything and followed him. You know, they left everything they had to follow Jesus. You know, total commitment. Oftentimes, if our commitment nowadays to the Lord isn't very strong, we see how people may not go to church for the simplest reasons. Now, now, I understand church ain't the Lord, but if you're doing that just for church, where's your relationship with the Lord? How strong is it? You know, they left everything for the Lord. If we're not willing to make that same sacrifice he asks us to, we're not where we need to be. 